So negative exponents. Um, what the negative exponent states is that when you have a base raised to a negative exponent, that is simply going to be equal to 1 over that base raised to the positive exponent. And the contrary is if you have a negative exponent on your denominator, we can make that positive by writing it now as um, a positive exponent or a positive power in the numerator. All right. So let's, the best way I like to show this is let's look at a quotient problem. All right. Let's take a look at, um, let's say I was going to do 3 divided by 3 cubed. Okay. Let's say I want to do that. Or we could pretend it's like x divided by x cubed. But let's take a look at 3 divided by 3 cubed. 3 cubed is what? 3 times 3 times 3, right? So really, this is 3 divided by 3 times 3 times 3. Now remember, our rule is anytime you have a number, Shelley, that divides by itself, that's going to divide to 1. So therefore, I'm now left with a 1 up top. And what's on my bottom? Nine. Right. 1 over 9, but I'm just going to write it in an exponent term, which would be 1 over 3 squared, right? You're good, yes. But it's 1 over 3 squared. Well, let's go and take a look at why would it be, it would be 9. We can simplify this. But I'm just going to leave it as 1 over 3 squared. Because let's take a look at it. If I was going to follow the quotient rule, that would be what? 3 to the first minus 3, right? If you were to apply the quotient rule, Ashley, if you were to apply the quotient rule, you would take 3, the top numerator, which is this power, and you subtract it from the degree or the power in the denominator. So 1 minus 3 is what? Two. What's 1 minus 3? Negative 2. Negative two. All right? But if now when we follow our negative exponent rule, when you have 3 to the negative 2, we write that as 1 over 3 squared. So do you guys see how if I write it out, I get 1 over 3 squared. If I follow the quotient property, I get a 3 to the negative squared. And then I apply the negative exponent rule, and I rewrite that as 1 over 3 squared, which, like Mendoka wanted to simplify to, we can just simply write as 1 over 9. All right? But all I want you guys to understand is when you have a negative exponent, you have to make sure that if the negative exponent's um, in a numerator, you write it down in your denominator and you can create it, make, and you can show it as positive. And then, Sadiq, the other way is if you have it in the, your denominator, you can write it back up as your numerator. Okay?